Lighten in the bushes now. Come on now, hit that like button, share, and subscribe now. I know you peeping and watching, and you want hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Remember, eagles flies with eagles. All right now, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is Arthur Omer, and remember. Eagles fly with eagles. Except for the mother of the person who had the dream and the vision. Have to have love and marry Tyson Bill. Melody also wrote, And why were all of my mother's scenes cut out? Because I definitely knew she was standing next to my liar when we sing happy birthday. Oh, wow. And she was also very present in the BS outside of the ring. Like, hashtag love and marriage, Huntsville. Like, y'all really didn't even show my other daughter? Moving on alone. I had such a ball at the skating ring, she says. Keep, keep it going. I gotta go now and unroll on out. But Melody also said, ain't nobody trying to destroy you. But I'm never going to stop standing up for myself and my kids, period. Never. Never, she said. Always going in your favor, child. Y'all remember when, when, when he said, uh, yeah, call the police, call the police. It always go in my favor. That's what he said. Melody, Melody Therese said the kids were inside the skating ring and the entire time and didn't even have to know what happened except he texted them talking about your mom put me out. You know that's what he wants. He's trying to build up this court scene so he can go, go to court and say, look, look, look what she did. I tried to go to my kid's birthday party and she put me out. Melody also said, come with it, aunt and cousin, and she tried to step in. Now, came with his aunt and cousin, and she tried to step in. Oh, that's why she said, you ain't in this. That's when my mama said, you don't have anything to do with this to her. Another uninvited guest. Then he began to yell at my mother and my aunt stepped in, pulling up with a damn team. Shucks. Melody. Lord, I was trying so hard to keep my family calm. I feel sorry for Melody. Every, oh Lord, today, today, Lord. 
Lily just said, you haven't invited me to my daughter's birthday party. So who else want to keep saying I invited him to? Melody also said, y'all heard me saying, we're not doing cameras. I don't do BS and moans at the expense of my kids. Didn't even want that film. They knew that, Melody. You've always said that. I went off and said, leave to the entire team because I don't like people trying to do it for moments and cameras time. The fact that my phone record records show a call to him before the party and y'all think he didn't know he wasn't invited. Y'all know they set that woman up. Martell knew that that was going to go down like that. Melody said, no, I didn't know he was coming to the party. I had it clear to every single person. I made it clear to every single person that I didn't want any drama at the party, even threatened to have everyone leave and not even film it. But then, room, here he comes with a spot for him to park. Wow, they left a spot for him to park too. It has already been proven that you knew you weren't invited, but you shouldn't, you should get to go there. Not the father of the year who missed Melania's first birthday because you were, I guess, expecting the ones you created during the pandemic a few months after I had Melania where you was with her. So I was at that party. It has already been proven in court that you missed that birthday party too last year, even though you were invited. Proven in court, and instead, you was in a lab. A lab of proven in court. Child, ah, oh, not you thinking you missed the perfect child. I had a whole conversation a week before, a day before, and the day saying, you're not welcome to come. So she'd been telling him that they've been fussing about this. Bessie, really, I know you mad that people don't mind being around me. You tried, you tried to have them hate me. Super proud of my students from my master class who have gone on to resign from the 95 and even some have gotten their home builder's license. Oh, Melody. So he's enjoying the episode. Not too much. Not too stressful. Nobody's around Mel too much unless it's about the money. That's right, man. I'm glad you know that. Y'all know the rest. I ain't gonna lie. It was great that the meeting didn't take it long. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Mel is a 
up here talking about she's gonna call the police and things of that nature. And that's been her that's been her thing. You know, she's called the police on me multiple times. And every time things have gone in my favor, that tells you a lot right there. You know, she's trying to, to hurt me in any way she can. And that we supposed to be um, co-parenting effectively. I don't think that would even came out of her mouth. Martel was definitely pushing me as far as he could, even if that meant calling the police. I mean, he very clearly said he don't care when I mentioned it. Like, I just wish he would throw his party. What black inventor you may or may not heard about. I probably showed y'all this before, but you need to learn these people. Black and the predecessor to the metal letter drop box we use today. Number four, Howard University alum Patricia Bath is responsible for creating the laser faco probe device used for laser cataract surgery. It would go on to help recover the sight of several individuals who had been blind for 30 years. Number five, Shirley Ann Jackson made several telecommunication breakthroughs while employed with Bell Laboratories. Her scientific discoveries led to the touch tone phone, caller ID, and call waiting. Jackson was also the first black woman to graduate with a PhD from MIT. Number six, Lonnie Johnson is to thank for the super soaked summer water gun battles. The former NASA engineer created the toy in his spare time after several rebranding attempts. His super soaker, known for his high power blasting water function, hit a record sale of 200 million in 1991. Number seven. Before Frederick McKinley Jones invented his portable cooling unit, creating a cooling system that can be mounted on the roof of a vehicle and will keep food fresh during these long journeys, they used to pack the trucks full of ice. Number eight, Jack Johnson was one of the most interesting inventors ever, not only because of his invention, but because he was the first black heavyweight boxing champion. In 1912, he was arrested for the violation of the Man Act, an act used to prevent black men from traveling with white women. He was sentenced to one year imprisonment, but fled to Europe and later returned to the U.S. and was sent to Leavenworth Federal Prison in Kansas. While in prison, he found a need for a tool which would help him tighten or loosen fastening devices. He therefore crafted the tool and eventually patented on April 18, 1922, calling it a wrench. Number nine. Richard Spikes developed quite a few inventions throughout his lifetime, such as the railroad semaphore, automatic car washer, automobile directional signals, beer keg tap, self-locking rack for billiard cues, continuous contact trolley pull, combination milk bottle opener, automatic gear shift transmission, shoe shine chair, multiple barrel machine gun, horizontally swinging barber chair, automatic safety brake method and apparatus for obtaining average supplies and temperatures and tank them. Number 10, George Crumb was born in 1822 in Saratoga Lake, New York. In 1860, he opened his own restaurant on Malta Avenue in Saratoga Lake, which featured potato chips as appetizers on each table. The restaurant was successful in operations for 30 years, closing in 1890. He never patented the potato chip or sought to market them outside of his restaurant. But a few years later, after he retired, potato chips were mass marketed by others and would eventually become a six billion dollar a year. In and then the bushes now. Come on now, hit that like button, share, and subscribe now. I know you peeping and watching, and you.